What's up everyone, it's Lewis here doing another Affinity Photo tutorial and today we're going to be talking about plugins. I've had this question asked a couple of times over the last few weeks and today I got it again so I thought I would quickly run you through it all. For those of you who might not know what a plugin is, if you're fairly new to programs and all that, it's probably a bit wild to you, a bit out there. Um, but basically think of it like an add-on or an expansion. It's uh, It can be anything from a simple effect or to... Uh, you know, you can get Facebook plugins for exporting directly to Facebook. I know Photoshop uses them, F uh, Final Cut Pro uses it. Basically every program actually has plugins in some way or another. So they're pretty good things to um, get your head around. They're often uh, paid for the better ones, I find, but there are some good free ones out there depending on what program you're using. Uh, with Affinity Photo, uh, Affinity was kind enough to allow us to use all the Photoshop plugins. So, photo yes, you heard that right. Uh, Photoshop plugins will work with Affinity Photo, which is pretty awesome. I haven't personally tested them all because I don't really use plugins all that much, but that's what they said. So, that's pretty awesome. So, I'm just going to quickly run you through how to do it. So, basically, what you want to do is go up to Preferences in Affinity Photo, click that. And you've got some options here. It's worth having a look around here if there's anything that stands out. I might do another video going through some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, you want to go to Photoshop plugins right there. And then as you can see, I've already installed one. Uh, that's a free sampler. But when you basically do it, it just goes add folder. And then you can choose the plugin that you want to use. And then you hit OK. And it'll actually make you restart the program. Actually, I can, re I can uh, remove this one just to show you that this, this is the same process. So you click remove as you would add, and then when you close it, it needs to restart. So it's exactly the same process. You go add folder and it'll make you restart. And then as you can see over here, I've, that's my request that I had today. So I thought I'd do this video. But yeah, it, then it reopens the program. And then you, the way to find it is you close it, make sure that it's there or not there if you're removing it. And then the way to find it is simple, just go down to plugins and because I don't have any installed, nothing's coming up, but that's where they will be. And you just go and click it and play with it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, I can go more into it if you like how to install specific pl plugins and how to use them. Um, as I said, I don't really use them myself, so there's only so much that I do know, but I can learn more if you like. But other than that, I just wanted to give a quick uh, rundown on what's happening with me. Since I've started doing these Affinity Photo tutorials, I've gotten a lot of subscribers. Um, so I'm actually going to take YouTube quite seriously. I've had a number of magazines approach me to do written tutorials, uh, which I'll be doing and probably linking to on my Twitter or whatever, which you can follow in the description. Yeah, so I'm going to actually do a video in probably the next couple of days, basically introducing myself properly and... Uh, talking about a schedule because I want to do also camera reviews and video game reviews and also camera tips because I often make DIY stuff as well as you know I'm learning a lot and I'm trying to be a photographer and so I would like to share that with you all and hopefully I can get somewhere with it on my YouTube channel but basically yeah it's going to be more photo tutorials camera gear reviews uh, DIY tips uh, video game reviews because I am an avid video gamer um, I'm also getting interested in filmmaking, so there'll probably be some more tutorials around that as well if you're interested. But yeah, I'll um, cover it all in a video that I'm going to do to introduce you to the channel properly. As always, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments or even bad feedback, if I if you didn't like what I've done, let me know because I want to make it better for you guys. So yeah, just try and be constructive. You don't have to be mean. But um, yeah, and that's all I really had to say today. It was a quick one, so I hope that showed you a little bit about how to use plugins with Affinity Photo. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.